Ever wondered how AI tools predict trends, shopping apps track the best deals, or how travel sites find and display thousands of flight prices in mere seconds? It's all thanks to web scraping. But what is web scraping? And is web scraping legal? In this video, I'll answer both of these questions and share my top web scraping tools so you can get your project going straight away. To make web scraping easier to understand, we can picture the internet as a vast, disorganized library. To navigate it, we use tools like Google that can help us find and access specific information. Web scraping is another tool in our arsenal, but it's got a different purpose. If the internet is a library, then web scrapers are high-speed researchers that can look through the whole library or internet with a specific book or website in mind and find all the customer reviews for a specific chapter of that book or website, like a product page, for example. Then they copy all that data into a file for you to analyze later. Real life web scraping examples include e-commerce price tracking, collecting customer reviews, monitoring sports or other stats, and even gathering data for AI model training and research. Put simply, the answer to what is web scraping is its automated data collection. Obviously, accumulating and storing data is a touchy subject for privacy and security reasons. So is web scraping legal? Yes, web scraping is legal, as there are no laws prohibiting web scraping, and many companies utilize it in legitimate ways to make better data-driven decisions. However, there are some cases where other laws or regulations come into play where web scraping does become illegal, like scraping private or copyrighted data, which is definitely not something we should pursue. Moreover, not all proxy providers for web scraping are trustworthy either. Some even use unethically sourced IPs, which can cause massive headaches later on down the line. So choosing a transparent and compliant provider is critical. We've done our research and are confident in the best providers in the description below, so make sure to check them out. They're legally compliant, packed with features, and all of their IPs are ethically sourced. Now, you may be thinking, okay, not only does web scraping seem complex, but it's also got legal pitfalls I'd rather not fall into. This is where specialized, trustworthy web scraping and proxy services shine the brightest. Web scraping done right is not an overly complex process. It's completely safe, and dare I say, even accessible if you leverage the right tools from the best providers. Some of the leading names like Oxylabs and Dakota have developed special web scraper APIs that simplify the scraping process. They handle the most challenging targets autonomously, allowing you to focus on scraping at scale instead. Plus, market leaders provide headless browsers that significantly speed up the scraping process by not generating a user interface. This makes scraper interactions with websites look authentic, simulating real user behavior on JavaScript-heavy pages. Speaking of APIs, Oxylabs and Decodo let users customize many different parameters, enabling precise control of your web scraping project. For instance, you can implement smart retry mechanisms, ensuring that your project scrapes ethically, honoring the website's infrastructure without overwhelming it. Smart retries help maintain a steady flow of requests while respecting the server's limitations. Safe to say the website owners will appreciate it. Geolocation and country selection are other parameters you can control at a granular level. If there's a need for your request to appear from particular coordinates or zip codes, you'll have no issue doing that. Or if you need to mimic different devices or browsers to make them appear like real users, user agent rotation controls will let you simulate traffic from various devices seamlessly. And of course, some projects require logged in session maintenance. Custom headers and cookies lend a helping hand here too. You'll be able to adjust these settings according to your needs. If you'd like to try these APIs yourself, feel free to explore Oxylabs and Dakota in the description below. Both providers offer free trials. However, web scraping tools are just one part of the equation, and we haven't even talked about the other side of the coin that goes hand in hand with web scraping, which is proxies. By routing requests through many different IP addresses, proxies conceal scrapers, which is essential when your scraping project focuses on a sensitive target or if you're scraping at a large scale. There are quite a few different kinds of them, with one of the proxy server types being residential proxies, which I wanna talk a bit more about. They're considered the best proxy for web scraping for most use cases, after all. The residential proxy's success stems from the nature of its physical device. Since residential IPs come from real physical devices, 
their activity is identical to human behavior. This makes web scraping more challenging to detect or block, allowing for a more effective and efficient workflow. For beginners, WebShare has some of the most affordable residential proxy plans on the market. It even offers a free trial, no credit card details required, and it's really easy to test their platform too. I left a link in the description for easy access, so if WebShare piqued your interest, make sure to test it out yourself. That said, WebShare is considered a better platform for smaller scale projects. If you need more horsepower, Oxylabs and Dakota have robust residential proxy packages alongside their extensive scraping tools, which will help you collect data faster, more efficiently, and reliably. You may remember that at the start of this review, I mentioned that choosing a compliant provider for web scraping with proxies is imperative. All three providers, Dakota, Oxylabs, and WebShare, source their IPs ethically, meaning that the subjects who provide the IP addresses have consented. This is perfect for any business use case you might have since you'll sidestep all the potential risks right from the get-go if you follow the terms and conditions, that is. In addition, all three providers have built their infrastructures and networks responsibly. So when your scraping is already underway, you won't have to worry about the service being shaky and unreliable. Bandwidth is abundant, and WebShare even offers flexibility in controlling how much of it you need. A perfect solution if you're just starting out or testing scraping setups and don't know the amount of data you need. Moreover, Oxylabs has a wide selection of 195 countries to choose from, so it's safe to say that you'll most likely find the locale you need for your e-commerce price data scraping project. Plus, both Dakota and Oxylabs support IP whitelisting, giving you flexibility in connecting to their network securely. Oh, and Dakota's web scraping API includes 100 plus ready-made scraping templates, AI parsers, and tens of millions of IPs. So yeah, if you need more horsepower, Oxylabs and Dakota are definitely the way to go. If you'd like to examine each provider in more detail, including what AI web scraping looks like, check out my other video, Best Proxies of 2025, where I analyze features and tools in more detail. Overall, web scraping can seriously help you make better data-driven decisions, if done responsibly, of course. With APIs from Oxylabs and Dakota and proxies from WebShare, you can scrape smart, fast, and ethically. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check the links in the description. They're awesome. Have a good one.